Blindside, blindside. Run the mesh. Run the mesh. Yo. What's up, boys? It's the Yak. It's Monday. Where the fuck did you get that shirt? What shirt is that? <laughs> oh, what? What? Why, what does it say? When, what? So, so you're just going to be... You're, it's you're it's that guy now? Sip, baby. You're that guy now? So, well, and Roan. What's SIP stand for? This I'm, It's freezing in here, Brandon. Roan's thirsty. Sweatshirt. You guys just happen to have transfer to the SIP shirts. There's a sweatshirt on, literally on the floor. I assumed it was from the last it's show. It's cold. You both have matching shirts from it's the floor. It's got to be Big Ev's shirt. This was a personal gift from the one and only Coach Lane Kiffin. Okay. Oh, he did? Yeah, he sent this to me. Wait, Lane wanted you to have Technically, this? Technically, Roan's wearing Brandon's sweatshirt, but Brandon's so nice, he let him wear it. Thank you, Brandon. Lane sent that cold. to me? Yeah. Fuck Lane. Oh, well, he said... He said, does Brandon want one? I said, yes, yeah, size 4X. <laughs> 3X, but fine. <laughs> it's comfortable. You want to try it on? I don't. <laughs> it's some kind of crazy blend. It's so soft. Oh, it's so face. soft. It's it does nice look blend. Good. It's so soft. For the record, I have a nails appointment today um, after the show. So uh, stop typing L's. The show's been on for one minute. Ugh. Literally, I, I just I got off the plane from Detroit. I was in Detroit Or keep last typing night, L's. And, and it I, doesn't affect any of us. Yeah, I, 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 Ron, I, I have your back. You're going to get your nails done. I literally have an appointment. I forgot how much I hate Mondays in the fall because I just go online and people complain about shit. Why? What are they getting you this with? This random shit. What are they hitting you with? I mean, this stuff they're going to The aging process? About. I saw yeah. you getting flamed for uh, aging at the same timeline as every other human. <laughs> I wanted to... That picture. Yeah. Of you, Kevin, and John? Yeah. Kevin looks objectively better. Yeah, now. Much better. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I, you shouldn't all be getting hate. Like, Kevin should be getting love. Yeah. No, people just love to be like, dude, what happened? I don't know, a decade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A decade happened, but yeah, Mondays. I just gotta, I gotta shake it off. We got Jerry in here. Yeah. I, Jerry doesn't. He he can do whatever he wants. Today. He can talk. He cannot talk. He was on his no show job kind of thing today. So I was like, come on in. I mean, no show. Oh, you're like I'm not doing. Like, know. what are you doing today? You're like, yeah. I'm trying to get you to shoot free throws with me. You're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just not in the best. I mean, it's tough. You know, you watch some of these offenses in football score points, and your team doesn't score. It's just tough. Yeah, you got a lot of though. offenses not scoring points, though. No, a lot of under. No, like, not by I mean, yourself. You see, you see teams like the Lions scoring touchdowns. Like, why can't we do that? Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, Steven uh, threatened me yesterday. I wish you guys had seen it. Really? What'd he do? He looked me dead in the eyes. He said, I'm about to lose it on you. Did he point like that? Yes, you? he did. And he had his mask on. He was <laughs> scary. It was quite a scene. I'm with Steven here. Yeah, okay, that's fine, Jerry. Thank you. You're on I mean, the I wrong am. side of... I don't think I am. Let me ask the question. What would losing it have entailed? I did lose it on Ken Jack earlier. Yeah. And that was actually not very much his fault. It was a lot of uh, pent-up pent up rage from uh, Big Cat needling me. Um, Just the whole game, like the first first down no, what was You're losing it like. What? You can play the clip because it actually the clip is uh, right before he turned to me and goes, I'm going to lose it on you. He, yeah, he pointed a two, with a Can finger you fucking gun? believe that? The man pointed at me. That's I'm about to lose it. All. Macro aggression. The Bucks being bad do this, that, that does this to you? No, Steven uh, not knowing how how games work did it to himself. Me and him are the same type of fan. He plays, but listen, it, when when there's a team down eight points and eight, they're gonna get they're gonna score and they're not you. gonna not get the Thank two point you. conversion. The Raiders did it. You guys did it. It's just gonna happen. Thank you. That's how it and works. Steven's problem is he takes all these football classes and then all he, he doesn't realize that I have decades of gambling knowledge in my brain and how games work. I had Raiders Titans to go to overtime yesterday just as a flyer, plus 1,500. They were down eight. They scored. I knew I knew what was going to happen. Of course. Just, you can't get that two-point conversion when you need it. You've never got it in the history of football. The problem is Steven got mad because I told him what was going to happen. If it was the Bucks packers game for people who didn't watch, I told him what was going to happen in the third quarter, and he's like, you don't know that. And then everything that I said was going to happen happened exactly how I said it was going to happen. To be fair, football is not his main thing. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. He's more of a eating pussy guy. Yeah. yeah. I did apologize to him just f simply for the fact. Oh, here here it is. And it's all in the mask, which makes it great. <laughs> hey, why are you wearing that mask? You were down a possession. Hurry, 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 hurry. Look at him. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you hold on up? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so Let's go. <laughs> so now they're down two. 
14 seconds. And to paint the picture, Big Cat had been telling me for an hour this was going to happen, that they're going to score and they're not going to get the shot. But the whole game he'd been super negative. And he knew this game too, he's rooting for Power positivity! I've been gambling for a really long time to know exactly what was going to happen when you need the Bucks just to win the game. This is him. Uh oh. I'm going to lose the money. I said, go ahead, please. The finger. I wanted. Up. I wanted. I, I guess he didn't point. That was my. He pointed up at the sky. He pointed he up. Yeah, but uh, he was, he was sending you up. up. He was going to kill you. <laughs> and was believed you'd lose go to it heaven. Me. That was an interesting point. Yeah. I'm going to lose it on you. What does losing it entail? Like, so I, I actually was like, I, I gonna hit you. The, the TV or the uh, clip cut out. I My response to it was, please do. Yeah. I want to see it. I want to see you lose it. <laughs> what if he beat your ass? Yeah, what if he just started fucking fighting me, like beating me like a rag doll, just smashing my my face is all bloodied, and they had to tear him off of me? Yeah, like so. that NASCAR driver this weekend. <laughs> he was just sitting in his car, getting his head. Oh in. fuck you! So, like I said to um, uh, Big Cat had been doing this all game since the first possession, no, saying that the Bucks yeah. stink. Yeah. And all that, which was obviously a false narrative, just to get under my skin. Well, but have you ever the Bucks, caught the Bucks, like a stream of ours? Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. <laughs> it's a thing. Yeah, but we were also we're not on a stream, so this is just we're down. We're just hanging out, watching, and we have the same rooting interest. Yeah, I know, and, and I, I knew we were going to lose. He had been needling me the entire game after the first first down we gave up, and the Bucks played an awful first half. And then <laughs> you went to go do boomers, I think. So you're watching somewhere else, and. Maybe it was the early third quarter, late second quarter, but the Bucks give up like a 50-yard pass to Randall Cobb. And Ken Jack goes, dude, you guys are giving up 50-yard plays to Randall Cobb. And I screamed at him. You lost it on him. What'd I you did. say? What'd you say? I think I just said like, shut the fuck up, dude. I was like, you guys are losing to the Jaguars right now. <laughs> but I did it in a very extra, probably the loudest I've yelled at this company. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. So what would it have been for Big Cat? Just a, a similar. I don't know. I was twenty two doing here I was, again. I was, I was at my. I was that at my boiling familiar. point. That's Adam. Adam uh, Driver. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy from Marriage golfer? Story. <laughs> yeah, a golfer. A golfer. Uh, but yes, yeah, Stephen. Yes, you were going to lose him. But again, everything I said was correct. But yeah, that's that's the Frank is right movement. Like yeah, what you said was correct, but it was not pre so at the time mm -hmm. yes you made a correct prediction nothing i said was wrong you made a correct prediction but you no, spoke I, it, it wasn't as even if a it prediction was. Hey, it wasn't a prediction it was fact Steven, it He's wasn't saying predictions as if they're facts it was Did coming that not from sound his familiar like to he you he knew it he felt it i felt it i knew it i knew exactly what was going to happen and it happened so mm -hmm. i do apologize for spoiling the end of the movie for you but the bucks are in trouble mm -hmm. the middle of their offensive line Stinks. They are bad. Stinks. Their receivers riddled with injuries. Yeah, Mike Evans is back next week. Julio Jones has already said he's going to play. I wouldn't so, be shocked if Tom Brady re-retires this year. He re re Middle been. of the year. <laughs> hmm? 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 I feel pretty good. The division sucks. The Saints took a big L. Saints are terrible. They're all alone in first place. It was good to see Steven finally like take a loss. Like he and he it's was been a while, very huh? dejected. And the added fact that I told them what was going to happen before it happened, it all just felt good. You don't see you take any uh, many L's. Mm -hmm. And you actually took the L too. Like you didn't just bounce back immediately. And no, he was he went into another room because he was he he had to he had to recuse himself from the room because uh, he was going to lose it on me. That might be well, the first one we've seen. Yeah, it was usually great. he just he just bounces right back. Well, Does Adam twenty two have really short legs? He looks like he's a size 36, 24, dude. He's, he's got <laughs> wide hips and, and short legs. So maybe it just looks like that from the fucking the cut of his jeans. Where 28 legs. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Oh, well, that's I said okay. 24 for him. And he's taller. He's, gonna get he's way taller. He's probably a 30. I'm a 28 length. 28? No way. He's yeah. a 30, dude. His body. I'm sorry. I, I derailed, but it was just. No, no. Was just, he does have. A little stumpy. Legs. I don't want to say stumpy. Oh, stumpy's mean. Stumpy is what does, mean. What does Adam 22 do? Uh, he's a oh, golfer. Yeah, he, he has a very, he is a hit podcast member, the Phoenix Suns story. 
Yes, okay. He broke that. And he also has he has a show where he uh, interviews uh, OnlyFans girls and, and then fucks them with his girlfriend afterwards. And he's like uh, more hardcore Glenn Glenn, Walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that do that all of a sudden. I think they're the only two. That actually fuck them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we had another pair in here that did that too. Glenn, he really? just slips under the he table. recently. Mm-hmm. Glenn, he really should start fucking. You should. On camera. Glenn, he damn near is fucking. It's smart. The way he... It's the views up. And he's putting Touch on numbies. Shirt. What happened with that? On the... Uh, Sunday conversation? Sunday conversation, yeah. yeah. How was everyone's weekend? Good. I was good. good. Rochester? Great. I went yeah, to how was Rochester? Rochester? Uh, it was very fun. I had to drive, about getting which there. sucked. Yeah. How yeah. long was that drive? It was like six hours, a wow. little more on the way back. Shit. But you had a flight, right? I love driving. And it was canceled. Yeah, my flight got canceled. There was no flights that would get there in time. Yeah, so. So Tyler and I offered to drive him, and uh, he just didn't respond to our text and got a zip car. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't going to make you guys drive six hours with me. It was an adventure. We were like. They're down for an adventure. They're adventurous like, yeah. dudes. It was, it, was, uh, it was a fun weekend. Shows went well. Why did the drive back take longer than the drive out? Traffic. I got to Jersey City right at like 5.30. So. Jersey City? Why Jersey City? Because I had to get my car too close to that side of Manhattan. Mm. Mm-hmm. Huh. The Wait, semantics. did you do a zip car? Yeah. I've never... So how does that work? You what just is park that? it? And it's... It's pretty... I mean, it, I think typically... Like, this was, like, so this was, like, a zip car, which, like, I think it could just be, like, a random person's car who loans their car out to zip mm-hmm. car, but this one was, like, clearly just a part of, like, a renting service that they gotcha. just, like, also have zip cars and Yeah, option. yeah, yeah. But it was, yeah, it was really easy. You literally just schedule it on your phone, and then you go to the car, unlock it with the app. Bam. No problem not being 25. Nah. You have to be 18 to use it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. Seth, last we saw you was uh, stripper day. It was, yes. Would you like to say anything? I don't really have anything to say. Would you like to apologize to Majestic? <laughs> nah, sure. So I'm sorry, Majestic. The only thing you did wrong was just not, not fucking how Roan yeah. left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't really... the the. I'm not, I don't really have anything to say about it because no one's going to agree with me regardless, but... I agree with you. It was uh, awkward. It was awkward... I just throw, I, I didn't love want. Uh, I don't understand why how people couldn't comprehend that like me not wanting a lap dance in front of a stream with like fifteen thousand people watching is weird. Yeah. Why would I want that to be on the internet forever? Mm-hmm. It's pretty. I, I agree. I was yeah. like, yeah, same thing. It's su- like it's such like a and then the the f- how much people cared was way more weird in my opinion. Or it justifies your leave. It justifies yeah. you leaving. How much I, people care? I think people just want to see you get your dick sucked. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it was like of course weird. They do. Yeah, so that's a sex it was very. It was like one of the few like times where people have gotten really mad at me when I've like it didn't bother me at all because I was like, this is so strange. Yeah, like usually I get like pissed, but I was just like, I want to see you get hard, dude. Yeah, that's what it was. They were. I want to see you get fucking horny. I mean, it was tremendously awkward. I just love awkward energy. Yeah, and I don't. And everyone was like, dude, like. How do you like? I was getting so many DMs from people being like, "How do you run away from a free lap dance?" <laughs> and it was like, "You guys are acting like we're like we're not at a strip club at three in the morning while we're all hammered and like you go to a private area for a lap dance." I'm on. It's one p.m. I have a meeting a after this. <laughs> yeah, on a set Wednesday. the record. Set, set the record straight. If we were at a strip club, a would you would you run away? Probably not. Okay. But like, there you go. The the amount that people cared about that. At, at, it was like a three hour show. And it was I was like thirty seconds of the show, and people just love to just jump on anything they can get. And we are going to do a live show at three a.m. from a strip club, right? Mm-hmm. I'm in. That would be more fitting, Jerry. You that would to be to way less Jerry? awkward. Jerry, you got. I would, I would be interested. You fell in love with the Cardi B lady at one point, right? It was Cardi B. It wasn't Cardi B. No, I I've I've had a dance from Cardi in the past, but uh, no, yeah, I mean, I didn't fall in love. I just got my hopes up. So yeah, mm. you buy her something. No, just a cell phone. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Cricket? Or an iPhone? I think it was actually Verizon. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, buy, you bought a stripper a cell phone? Uh, The bill. Oh, wow. Oh. bill, yeah. Then she left, right? She went back to Brazil, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Are you still paying the bill? No. Roman What's charges that? gotta be out. Yeah. No, no, of course not. That would suck if every month you just got a bill from <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> like, Turning on the back. roaming? <laughs> She'll come back. Yeah, yeah she got done up and then went back. Yeah. 
she got done up here. I feel like people go from here to Brazil to get done up and yeah, get their ass. Here. Yeah, get their ass done. It isn't like there aren't like a like ass. What is the surgery? Most dangerous, the most dangerous, most dangerous surgery right yeah. now, isn't yeah. it? Why? I don't know. I think they're they're just putting like random. I think for a while they were just Objects. putting random There's rubber shit in the ass. Yeah, they like ran out tires. of silicone, so yeah. they're just shoving anything. Yeah, like sand, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. loons, yeah, foam, unwell yeah. hoodies. I think that's like what. what <laughs> I think hoodies. that's what was happening. Someone should get their ass done. Fun. Yeah. That would be hilarious. You gotta fly back. You gotta buy multiple seats and lie in your stomach. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Do you really? Or kneel yeah. facing the oh, other damn. way. It's like videos yeah. of, of like a plane full of people not being laying down sleep. on pillows. Yeah, that would be a tough one in Brazil. Yeah, definitely. So I was good to sit. Yeah, he's expensive. Yeah, look at though. this. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! All these people laying on their stomachs. Jeez. Cause they got their asses done. It's crazy that there's multiples on the same. Oh my god! <laughs> Was it wholesale? Is she farting? That's a fart pose. That's gotta be so uncomfortable. Oh my, oh my god. god! There's so many of Imagine them. Imagine sitting behind someone who just has to do that and they're just <laughs> face in your the fucking face. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Golly! The boys get their asses done. I think that there's got to be a more tasteful way to do it. Like maybe just a little bit instead squats? of like all. No, no, not squats. I think unnatural squats don't. Not oh my god! <laughs> wait, wait. That was incredible. Oh my! They're just wheeling her. <laughs> Who was wheeling her? Travel nurses? Oh fuck! Jesus Christ! Did she went on a luggage cart. <laughs> what was? What that? would be the What would be the more tasteful way? I think just a little bit of b Brazilian butt lift. Yeah. Instead of the they whole get, thing. They get nervous. They're not going to get their money's worth, and they go to wait. Yeah, too exactly. It's like going to an all-you-can-eat buffet and stuff in your fucking yeah. face. It's like just have the meal you were going to have. She's just standing. Oh, that like gives me so the awkward. Gives me I would the, be pissed. The willies thinking about just getting. A sh ton of stuff and in injected into your ass cheeks. What about flight attendants who like? I mean, they get mad if you don't have your seatbelt. Yeah. What about takeoff? Yeah. I think this is. I mean, you're you're probably pretty safe if you like. Yeah, the extra padding. Yeah, the extra padding. It's actually, way safer. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a built-in airbag. airbag. Well, it would be yeah. nice to slow the one then, Ron, because the you have the you have like the, the airbag. Yeah. Yeah. Significantly easier. I I was on the Amtrak recently, and there was a dude just like that. Just made me think of it. There was just a guy standing. Like at his seat the entire time, and he was making everyone uncomfortable. And the guy, like the one of the people that worked there, was like, "Hey, dude, you want to like go to the cafe car or something and like sit down?" And he was like, "No," and he just stood there reading a newspaper in the middle of the aisle for four hours. Kind of like wow. that. Make yeah. sure Maybe he had sciatica. I, I've had sciatic pain before, where I had to go to the back of the airplane and stand for a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah we had. Remember that one plane we took? We took a PJ once that Ron and I both had. We laid down in the aisle. Yeah, our backs fucked up. Oh, we both were laying down in the <laughs> yeah. aisle. That PJ trip must have been terrible. It was huh. tough. Yeah. Oh, really <laughs> tough. Was there awful. was a. I, I barely I, taste the caviar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we took one. We took one on Saturday. The snacks just weren't that good. No, they weren't. I read something uh, yesterday about. Apparently, when you're like when you're at that altitude, your taste buds go numb. So that's why, like, when you're on like long flights, the food tastes like better than it is. Well, yeah, and that's why uh, a lot of people like Bloody Marys. Bloody Marys, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. salt. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. All right, uh, Dan, I, I have something important. Okay, I did tweet out uh, thank you to Lane Kiffin for sponsoring fine. the that's act featuring, that's featuring Brandon Walker. Yeah, good stuff. Um, so you're gonna be uh, you're, you know you're the Pied Piper going to Chicago and we're coming yeah. and you're gonna get us a nice headquarters right there. Yeah, right? you saw the dude perfect. You though. see what dude perfect did? Yeah, I mean the bar is set, buddy. Motherfucker, you're gonna have to fucking. <sighs> you're spending nine figures on that though. Yeah, yeah I think. Know if we have nine figures, nine, nine figures? figures that's ten million. They already have million. the best headquarters. It's 100 million? Hundreds of millions of dollars are going to be spent on that. Jesus. That's crazy. Is that a golf course attached to it? I want that. Yeah. I want that. Where's that going to be? Texas somewhere. They're like shopping. They said maybe Atlanta, maybe Los Angeles. It looks Texas. like it's also an operational fighter jet. Yeah. That would be sick if they could, <laughs> they they could, could just take, take off. off yeah. uh, we could do that. We could, that reasons, much we could just make take that. off for half the year. They, they're so rich. They go on tours. They have 60 well, million that. subscribers on YouTube. I want to. They're the most. But I want their life. There's five of them. I guess they got, they got like ad sales people now, or they got hundreds of people in the company. Why do they need all that? Well, here's my question with Dude Perfect, because obviously there's a little jealousy. I'm jealous of, right. the of course. life they it's have. What we tried to do, except for we said curse words the whole time. Right. And they did fucking cool shots. They're on Nickelodeon. We made fun of them, and yeah. then they did better. Right. So, better. but do you think that 
Do you think it's annoying having to be that positive and like yes. nice mm-hmm. to each other? Or 100%. do you think that's just who they are so it's not well, even – it doesn't uh, even cross – like they don't – they never have – a guy sitting in a fucking Freddy Krueger mask, I think looking back at one humans. of his coworkers, saying, yeah, they'll I'm gonna be, lose it on you." Just decent humans, and we're no, not. No, no. Yeah. There'll be a documentary in like mm-hmm. 50 years that's yeah. like the Dude Perfect tapes. They've already gone like 12 years together. The true, what's going on behind the scenes? Then they're just maybe, yeah, they're just they're Texas A&M Aggies. They're weird. They like to be positive. I just think I would I would last like two days in there before I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Everybody has a vice, and it's strange we don't know any of theirs right i think optimism is their vice i think stephen shea would actually fit in perfectly there yeah he's probably. a dude perfect guy oh, he would be awesome would that's actually exactly oh. right like we actually have a, a perfect, would kill it there perfect experiment of having a dude perfect guy um in our midst Should we send him as a mole in there to like kind of get the dirt on dude perfect so we can take down their empire yeah would you would, would you do that would you wear a wire you're down right now i like this you are down so I don't, I don't really know this story. I was just cutting a social clip. They they got like a new headquarters somewhere. Yeah, they but got, you're down. They got plans for a new headquarters. He's down. He's bad. He's this down. is the first time I've ever seen him down. Down for what? You're just down in general. Oh, in yeah. the dumps. Yeah, yes, you're down yes, in the yes, dumps. Yes, not yes, yes. happen. Yes. Why? It's just one game. It's a regular game. I know. I know. Game. I know. I know. I'll be, I, I'll be fine. He's realizing they stink. It's yeah, like back no, to no. the old bucks. After having Tom Brady for a little bit, you've like grown accustomed to a way of life that's yeah. outside of your means, and now you're getting divorced, and like you're gonna have Real to go life back to your fake old life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. life too. Yeah, you're gonna have to go back to your old lifestyle. I'm enjoying the ride while it lasts for sure. Oh, and, so you're seeing the end of the? Yeah, you see the. I mean, uh, the end was yeah. Gravy I mean, train's coming to a close. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Maybe it's not this year. Maybe it's what if the end has kind of already happened? You just don't know it yet. Yeah. What What is the old saying? I wish we knew we were in the good old days when the good old days were happening, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Andy Bernard, The Office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Guess what? <laughs> Those good old days are gone. Oh, yeah. right? Long gone. Long gone. Yeah. Long gone. And which Andy Bernard said that? The one. Fr- Andy Bernard from The Office. Oh, from the okay. Oh, from The Office. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, very It's true. Meanwhile, me and Sass's teams are fucking seven oh, and zero combined. Hey, 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 killing four it. Four and zero. Dolphins fans. It's Philly boys. Oh, yeah, but what about Mississippi State, though? Oh, well, that's fine. But I'm saying our college and pro teams are undefeated, both of them. Enough, but fair. Dolphins, us, Glenny Balls, mm-hmm. uh, the Giants fans in the office. Mm-hmm. Who else is Giants fans? The Bears and the Bucks have the same record. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It's true. You are what your record says. You are. Go yeah, ourselves. two and one. Dang. Justin Fields, 23 completed passes on the season. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was like 8 of 17. 23 years. completed passes on the season. Do How happy does that, that make is? you, Jerry? Uh, I've been done with the field situation for a little while now. Really? Oh, I don't yeah. forget. I'm, I mean, I'm in a world of trouble with my team. I did say he wasn't a good quarterback, though. Which yeah. Is field. 23 Old. completed passes. How many? That's pretty good. For a game, it would be pretty good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it'd be okay. <laughs> right, it'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how many people had more than 23 completions yesterday? <laughs> uh, like, the whole league? Yeah, Most everybody. Every What's the total for those, usually, like, 28? No, they're lower than that. They're in the, er, the low 20s. Uh, 22 and a half, usually, yeah. right around there. Steven, you're down. You know what? I'll do you a favor. Who are you playing this week? Okay, you got Chief Sunday night. All right, I'll tell you what's going to happen before it happens. <laughs> I'm a little worried Whoa. about you right now, Big Cat. You, the more you say he's down, the more he's coming out of it. Oh, yeah. I think by the end of the I show, he's going to be... He gonna, feels seen. Right, he's going to be up again. Uh, he's, he still knows. He, he tried to reason with me yesterday afterwards where he's like, you didn't know what was going to happen. You were stating it as fact. I was like, but did it happen? And he couldn't... He can't squirm out of it. And here's, here's what else you did yesterday when you said... Oh, I'm going to lose it on you? Every Sunday from now on, he's going to try to get you to lose it. I want to see the lose it. Right. That's all he cares about now. I need to lose it. I did, and I probably (laughs) will again. So, yeah, I mean... (laughs) Who said it was like it was like a fucking dad scolding like a seven year old like Oh it was very much if like you that. don't stop making noise I'm gonna care. lose it on your elbow. elbow. Like he was driving a minivan even I turned around this car over. Who even yeah. says that? I'm gonna lose it on you. It was like a 
rattlesnake. I, I didn't. Needed... I didn't actually do anything. I just kind of rattled. Like. Yeah, no, and it was it was the least threatening thing. I again, my exact quote was, "I was in rattle." Do. <laughs> yeah. I wanted you to lose it. I need you to lose it on me. What would it be? I really want to know what it would be like. What the um extent of it would be can you let your mind kind of go there a little bit just like think about what how you would react would it be a scream would it be like a bucket him like flinch at him yeah or? it's not a state i can just take you can't myself access to. it no dang we'll get back there. I don't it know. is far like, from i hope not like dad move yeah it's the equivalent of just like a hey hey <laughs> hey hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> stop <laughs> making a ruckus <laughs> that's it <laughs> I just don't time? know how do you lose it in an office on another grown man. For oh, also, crazy. I don't in, know in how. <laughs> <laughs> but but the craziest part is how do you lose it on someone who was factually correct the entire yeah. time? Yeah, I think that's what that's what was making him so mad. Oh yeah, because I was right. right and he was wrong, and then he kept on trying to be like, "You didn't know, but I did know." You think it was just his opinion? He apologized to of me course. after. How, we how, both apologize to each other. No, how, how I apologize after? to you just for spoiling the ending. As I said I won't do that anymore. 20 minutes after, an hour after, two seconds after? Well, like two minutes after I got up because I wanted to go <laughs> tape something. And then Big Cat immediately goes, are you going to apologize to me? <laughs> right. <laughs> you said he apologized. You didn't say you asked yeah. for it. Well, no, I was like, you should apologize to me because I was right and you were wrong. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then I said, are you going to apologize to me? I think I actually said I accept your apology, Stephen. No, you Which literally, is... no, because I turned it on you. I said, are you going to apologize to me? And I said, yeah, I won't spoil anymore. And we... But I kind of want to spoil the well, Chiefs-Bucks I... game. What is going to happen? So just probably going to lose. I'm going to say that the Chiefs are going to win uh, by a field goal. Yeah, that feels right. Are you predicting what's going to happen in Tampa this week? That's dangerous. Why? They have a big hurricane coming their way. Okay. So, are you trying to shame me? No, but I'm just saying that's... they're getting, they're gonna get fucked. Big hurricane! You should buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, you, now you want to tell about the condo you got in Tampa? I think I got a condo in Tampa. Did? <laughs> no way. I have looked up Zillow's around uh, the stadium. Very, very affordable. Yeah, it's fun. Isn't that fun? It is fun. I like looking up Zillow. Zillow's fun. It's just fun Zillow to check hunting. out. I was on Zillow last night hard. Where? Rochester? No. Oh. New York. Where? We got roaches now. <sighs> oh. Wow. They're friends with oh, the We rats. have one roach. You guys are just such an. No, not hard. friends with. Good news. I got rid of the rats. What about Friday the mice? night. The roaches. The mice. They're Friday mice. night, I got rid of all the mice. And then Sunday night, the I, we see cockroaches How? for the first time. How'd you get rid of the mice? Uh, glue traps caught two of them and they were alive and squirming around and then I just frisbeed them out my window <laughs> oh shit oh, that's awesome yeah it was glue incredible. traps are inhumane but it's really the only thing that you can do yeah like the old school traps don't work they just so dodge them I would rather have healing and stuff when you threw them out yes oh, nice it was gross which I didn't like how much motion they had like it was very much stuck and it wasn't gonna get off but like it's, it's the level of sticky, they're wrestling around a lot, which I didn't like. That's the first step of a serial killer. Killing, Killing a yes. Uh, well, I didn't animals. kill it. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, you threw did. it out of, out of the window. How high up are you guys? Uh, we're a sixth floor walk up, and I, I yeah, it probably did. went about f five or six avenue streets. Poor, poor person just walking down the street and just gets hit by a fucking <laughs> frisbee mice. It sticks to them. Yeah. <laughs> the mouse is in between yeah. the, them and the trap. <laughs> We were really sucking I hope it was some you. NYU girl who watched Lady Bird junior year of high school. Yeah. And then that was her dream, and then she got here, and yeah, she got hit by a, my mouth. That'd yeah, we're getting fucked, though. Our landlord's a fucking bitch, too. I hate him with a passion. Let's call him. Nah, what's their, what's their name? Dude, he sent us the most like frustrating email. Let's call him and have Steven lose it on him. Ooh, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah. I'd like to know more about the email, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's. We we send our ch first of all we have to hand deliver our checks to his apartment. That's shady. Which is annoying already because most apartments have like the portal where you can just pay online, and he sends we all give separate checks because we all pay like different days like whatever, so we all go at our own time and bring our check. And he like I guess he's having trouble keeping up with that, which is his only job, <laughs> the one thing he needs to do. And he sent us an email being like, "This is unfair to me." <laughs> He's like I can't keep track of this like I'm gonna have to ask you guys to send one check and it was like dude This is literally the only thing you have to do. Yeah, and you're saying it's unfair 
to you. Sounds and like it's kind of unfair. This was yeah. on a Friday night. This was after I had gotten rid of the mice, so I'm feeling good. We got that email. And then I sent him back a full paragraph, and I did my own Excel and showed him, like, this is what it is. It was super easy to do. This is what you should be doing. And then we just got an automated, he's on vacation response. <laughs> So one minute he on vacation guys. from one minute one, he emailed one us. He I work. emailed back six minutes later, and then one minute vacation. Like Don't that. email me. I like that. He's it's so annoying. He's owning the fuck out of you guys. Yeah. No, What's he's number? not. Let's we do, we'll just stop paying. He's putting you in he's poverty. Threatened. And he'll kiss you out. No, he won't. He's threatened late fees like seven times. We've never gotten the late fee. <laughs> he just wants his money. Why don't you yeah. move into Jerry's development? We might have to, and it's the so tank. it's the so tank. like annoying when we have to drop the check off, and he's staying at this fucking like compound in like Upper <laughs> West Village, Upper West Side, and I have to like hand deliver it to his, like his butler, and I'm like, this is for Bruce. <laughs> What's his name? Bruce. Like, he's, he's like the fucking Great Gatsby. Like you never Batman, see Batman, your face. landlord. It is the worst name. Yeah, that guy sucks ass. Bruce is? Uh, yeah, this Batman. is unfair because he has to figure out, like, it's three checks, dude. It's not like we have 17 people living in our apartment. Kind of side with him. No. Sounds like you guys are being unfair. Put it all together. It sucks. Who's the first Bruce's that you guys think of? Willis. Bruce Wayne. Bruce. Valanche. Almighty. Valan it's Valanche. I think of Bruce Smith or Bruce Bruce, the uh, comic. Oh, yeah. Remember Bruce Bruce? Yeah. I have a constructive feedback. Why don't you guys just... Put all your checks in one envelope. I know you guys said you do it on different days, but then have one person deliver it, and you guys can rotate months. Because we all we all bring the checks at different times, right? You know, but it's all right around. Nah, the that was a good idea, by Steve. Yeah, yeah, that was a hell. I of I have an en envelope sitting in the. You, what you should do is just have the envelope sitting in the kitchen, and the last person to put it in has to go take the checks. Perfect. Yeah, I mean that's fine with me. Like I, the the three checks thing's not even a bit. Like the one check's not a big deal, but the whole like. The, the the title of the email was like the confusion continues. It was like, oh, I love that he what titled the, the email. Is I'm, he, the more that's All coming right. out here, the more I'm siding with Bruce. No, no because he was also accusing email? us of, of owing him money. He said we never paid one of the months, and I had to show him receipts that he asked us to pay a different way that month, and we did him a favor. What's yeah. going into Erica's office? Are they going to close the door? Oh, no. Oh. oh, he's got his glasses on. He's looking down at his phone too. He's sitting across the desk from her. <sighs> Dang. What's wrong, Jerry? Nah, just the mice story. I got, I got, I, I've caught, I've recently caught some mice. Have you complained to your landlord? It'd be, it'd be my mom, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I, I bought, don't know. I bought these humane traps where you stick peanut butter on one side, and they go in, and they they get the peanut butter, they step on this little clicky thing, and then it locks them in. Mm. And then I, I drown the mice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the least humane thing you could do. So, so what I? Oh jeez. So I told my mom like, <laughs> why do you drown them? All right, so oh, I'll, I have an explanation. You have a full Guantanamo. Do the whole day. humane part, and then you're like, and then I, and then I water poured them. <laughs> I have an do explanation. Not negotiate with mice. <laughs> I have an explanation, okay. so people don't think I'm crazy. The first oh, no one would think that. So I was eating crackers one night in bed, club crackers. <laughs> okay. And okay. whatever, I was done with the crackers, and I have, like, this little thing attached to the wall where I usually put the remotes. I have, like, three remotes, so I put the remotes in there, and I stuffed the, the, the wrapping in there, but I was so lazy, like, I didn't smush it in. It just fell on the floor. So, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, I hear, like, I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I look over my bed. And I'm like, because I sleep with the TV on, so there's a light. And I'm like, oh, my God, and ran. So I was like, fuck, I got to buy a mousetrap. Yeah. I buy these things on Amazon. I spread peanut butter on the one side. Next morning, I catch it. I look down. I'm like, holy shit, it's there. I caught it. And my, I told my mom, I was like, hey, I caught a, I caught a, ma a mouse in, in my room. She's like, okay, no problem. She's like, what are you going to do? I'm like, well, these are, like, humane. You lift up the one side, and they run out. So I did it in the backyard. I don't know if the next night I caught the same exact mouse, but, but I caught another back one. In. It might have came back in. That's what my mom was saying. So she was like, don't let it out in the backyard. So I was like, all right. So I went and got, they make this, uh, it's like Lysol for the floor. It's in like, it's like a yellow thing container. Lysol. You drowned them in Lysol? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That oh, that's. 
<laughs> it's even more fucked up. Down with toxic material. In a bucket, yeah. All right. In Jerry's defense, um, I did something similar. The mouse was wrestling around and clearly furry, and I didn't like that, so I wet it with uh, bleach to get it soaking exactly. wet and less cute looking. Exactly. And it was more of just like, an amorphous blob. Yeah. But no, I didn't. Uh, Do they squeal when you put them this, in the This thing? is how scream. I'm pretty sure. No, yeah. they didn't scream. No, you just die. You get them in the. People okay. say you get them in the wooden ones. You hold scream. their head down underneath. The I don't water? like talking about it. No, I put them into like a five in the Home Depot. Have they had those buckets? Yeah. Yeah. I filled it up like a quarter of the way with the Lysol, and I just poured it in. And then from the trap, I lifted up the gate, and he just fell right in. And then boom, dead. And I mean, they're squirming for a little bit. <laughs> oh, dude. Saw it through. That's well, way worse. But credit to you for the humane traps. Yeah, the yeah. humane. <laughs> there really is no humane way to do it. But you're Kill? killing an animal. Yeah. Yeah. I there in uh, When I lived in Maniunk in Philly, one of my friends named Mike, he had a, a squirrel that was in his, like, in his, uh, uh, like, his house that he had bought. And squirrels have, like, the same type of thing where if you take them, like, 15, 20 yeah, miles come away, come back. they can still get back. And so he had to take it down to like the Schuylkill River and fucking drown this, this Put it under squirrel. the water? But it, it, he said it looked dead in his eyes as he was oh, doing it. It was oh. just staring Shit into Shit like De eyes. Jeffrey Dahmer stuff starts, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He had, But like, what was his other options? That like, taste same for as you. blood. The, the mouse is going to keep on coming back. Oh, God. I did that with a hamster, Sonny D. I'll never forget. Wait, what? <laughs> Sonny D. Was that the hamster's name? God yeah. damn. What, you just were tired of having the hamster? Kind of Sonny so D. it bit me. Oh, shit. It's, a, it's an hamster. Hamsters have like two like long teeth. Yeah. Like, and one day, I, I was, we were in middle school. My sister was younger, but came home from work. She's like, hey, can you feed my hamster? I'm like, yeah, sure. So I put like the fake corn or whatever it is, the dried corn in the thing, and it bit me. So I went and got Windex and just fucking sprayed him. To the <laughs> no, Jerry. <laughs> Oh, this is a way different story. That's way worse That's than way the different. That's a pet. <laughs> so you killed a pet. That's... We should probably report him. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we need to be sitting. That's like, way oh. worse. You lost it on the hamster. <laughs> and my sister's still sick to this day. Uh, yeah. Of course she is, yeah. Sonny D, R.I.P. <laughs> Yeah. Like how long do you have to spray him before you kill him? I lit him up. <laughs> oh no, Jerry! <laughs> I lit him up, and it's not even like it was like like it makes sense if it accidentally like got you when it was going for the it food. Feeding time, going for the I food. Lit his ass up. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it on you, hamster. Is, oh wild. I mean, that has to be one of the more inhumane ways to kill something too. I shouldn't have bit him. Just soaking its skin in, in chemicals until it <laughs> What did your sister say when she got home? So it didn't die that day. Oh my god. <laughs> it died like the next the day. The story's just getting worse and worse. <laughs> she had no idea. And then it came out. I was like, listen, I can't live with this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I killed your hamster. Unburden yourself. Yeah. And I didn't it, it didn't it come out multiple like, days. No, it took you a, just a day later like a flick. he died. It's been like, don't do that. <laughs> Lick. Yeah. It could have been, boy. Yeah. been unrelated though. Like, and you didn't even do it out of pure anger because you actually you got up and left and went and got the Windex and Oh, that was it. Uh, I was premeditated. No, but but there wasn't Wait. just a snap. He, he actually yeah. had to go do it. How well, yeah, what well, uh, how much time was in between getting bit and having Minute. drowned? Minute. Minute. Okay. <laughs> If oh, you get bit, okay. no, that's a crime. I thought of you passion. had to like go to the passion. store and buy yeah. the poison, yeah. and like, yeah, no, that's not premeditated. First store didn't have passion. it; had to go to another it's one. It's manslaughter or yeah. hamster slaughter. Yeah, hamster <laughs> slaughter. Yeah, oh, that's murder. That's <laughs> straight up murder. <laughs> Man, those are both awesome stories. <laughs> <laughs> I love the humane traps. <laughs> Why did you get humane traps? You want to see the I, I don't. Listen, I don't like killing animals. Uh -huh. I'm really not really? like that guy. But you'll do it if no, you have the to. The humane traps are not for the animals. It's for the humans. So right. It's because you're like, a pussy. Bit. Yeah. And I'm, a pu I'm speaking yeah, on no, behalf yeah, of I would myself do the same thing. who is a pussy. Yeah. But yeah. most of the humane traps sound worse than just a swift yeah. death if you're a mouse. I don't yeah, kill like, anything. I, I, I take bugs and put bugs outside. I take spiders outside. I don't kill anything. I'll kill a spider. No I won't kill a spider. I'll kill a bug for sure. Smash a bug. I'll smash a bug. I'll wait. I'll set up a time lapse camera and watch a spider make its web and then kill it. Yeah, let it get, let it get comfortable. <laughs> watch it make its most act. beautiful act, then murder. I've definitely done like the Windex on like a spider before. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. many times. I have to. What's the difference with a hamster? Were you salting <laughs> yeah. slugs a lot as a kid? No, I think spiders might be smarter than hamsters. How much does it take out of a spider to do a full web? Because spiders are not big, and then if you look at it, it's like. You know, four or five feet of, of just stuff coming out of your your middle. 
what if we had that like a non poop, non pee, non cum thing yeah. that came out of our midsection that we could build with? And based out of on your us, belly button, and it would be like forty or fifty feet wide. Yeah, crazy. What if that was our so whole awesome whole infrastructure? We built our house out of our body. Whoa, that's crazy. Silk. I want some silk protein. Soy milk. Huh. Don't they say you could roll up a spider web and, 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 and eat it and it's like healthy as shit or something? What? Like that? Really? No, I don't think so. It's that's probably just protein, but I don't you'd probably have to roll up a lot of it to be able to even like But I thought you were gonna say enough. smoke it. <laughs> B walks always roll That's true. Damn. I think what's the deal with those bugs? Silly. Those those new Yeah, what's yeah, the deal I with see them everywhere. Which the they, they're like lantern these like fly. moths. The that one are, like, that red. came in for Zah. Uh, yeah, we put one in the office. The lantern fly. What they're is, they're like uh, an invasive species, so they encourage you to kill them. They'd be dying everywhere. I saw like a group of people on the street going after one. After <laughs> what? After one of those bugs. Oh, the moth. The, the, the yeah, like five people. <laughs> the lantern. Yeah, the one that, that we brought in here. Works. Shouldn't take that much manpower. Yeah. Yeah, they're so easy to kill. They're the dumbest. I don't know. I, it was so like they're a, it everywhere. Was like a group of like of a mom with like her kids, and then some random dude who was like, "I'll step in and finish this thing off." S- Steven, don't tweet out um, the hamster story from Jerry. That one probably shouldn't be on Twitter. Tell me more animals you've killed. The other one's fine. Whole fish in between a book. <laughs> God damn it, Jerry! <laughs> Jerry, you you said you were like that's how like You're Jeffrey a son of a Dahmer bitch. starts. You know that? You're a real asshole. Whole <laughs> fish in between a book. What kind of fish? A phone book? A, what? Is, now forget blue. The beta. I thought, wait, what do you mean in between a book? Like two books. The book. There's a oh. crease in the book, obviously, and then you fucking put them directly in the crease. Paperback? <laughs> no, Why? It was, it was already out of water. It was going to die. It was gonna die. But you wanted to. You're... <laughs> yeah. Did it bite you? <laughs> no, no. That one just looked at you funny. That one happened when I was younger, though. So like, I didn't understand what it meant to kill something. So that oh, was okay. just for pure joy at the time. Yeah. Both my sister's pets, yep. That's usually what you do that. <laughs> No. Yeah. Jerry. Your poor sister. She's got all of her pets yeah. <laughs> done. Yeah. Done. You feel bad after? Nope. Oh. <laughs> feel bad now? Now, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Looking back. So I'm really not that type of person, you know? Yeah. Right. Sounds like no, you no, are. No, no, exactly no. that kind of person. No, he's only got You're three like, three times. <laughs> or like killing animals. That's the last one I got. I mean, there's inconsistencies. We eat animals. You know what I mean? Or we kill yes. invasive an- animals like these spotted lantern flies. The most bleeding heart liberals are out there like stomping them on the street fucking with glee in their face. I think it's because when we're children, we read like there's always like mice in books and movies and stuff. So then you put... In your brain, like, oh, they they have human feelings. Yeah, mice are the yeah, most. What the fuck was Stuart Little all about? Yeah, Stuart <laughs> Little, Ratatouille. It's like, no, dude, fuck these. These so dumbass. many of them. They'd kill us if they had a chance. I know that. Yeah, yeah. fact. Know that for a fact. Yeah, I would right. never kill a rat. You couldn't pay me to kill. I a never rat. even seen a rat. Things- yeah, you have. Yes, yes, you have. What? I don't think I've ever seen. Have you never not seen a rat? When your next time you're going to the train, look in the tracks. Yeah. There's like seventy rats really? running around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. The city yeah. might might want to hire you as the head exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> also, you used to do outdoor work, right? Yeah, never seen n- a rat. Never seen a rat. Yeah, in any of like the sewers. Rats, rats are the bigger ones, right? Yeah, yeah you didn't cute. go in sewers and stuff. Yeah, I worked in sewers. Never oh, you've once. Seen rat. Come on, that's, I that's never. Not possible. I, I never seen a rat until I probably moved here. Jerry just thought there were little dogs running around in the sewers. They're so fucking big. Yeah, they are. They're repulsive. You've seen big ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of them are closer to an opossum than They're a They're so wow. big. That place, yeah. uh, right by our old office, we used to call it, uh, I can't remember I can't remember what we called it, but every every Sunday we'd leave after doing PMT, and there was like under- Oh, my God. It was remember horrifying. that spot? Yes. It was underneath like a, um, it was like basically underneath like a raised, uh, like almost like a handicap ramp. There was, it must have been trash and stuff. And there was probably fifty rats that would run from there to Holy the sewer and back and forth. You could watch yeah. them. They were like it was like the last scene in the departed. They're all on like the Crazy. railings and shit. It's they crazy. would just skirt back and like you could stand there and see a hundred rats yeah. in like five minutes. When I used to live in East Village, it was like right when like COVID was still like big and it was only outdoor seating. And there was this one restaurant that I would go and there would just be rats crawling around, like they'd run by your feet the entire yeah. time. It was so like hundreds. I'd like to see an example of a New York City rat. 
Dude, I've seen them Dude, on the subway little, we platforms. Could, yeah, we could walk outside right now and find you one pretty easily. <laughs> find a video of some rats. I think it would take you a long time to find a rat. I prom- oh, Dude, if you go to the subway and you look in the tracks, I promise you, you will see one. Let me do the yes yeah. one. Let me yeah, do the Roback. That I just yeah, yeah, yeah. Rats. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, use code YAK on Roback.com for generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. That's spelled R H O B A C K.com. 20% off all polos, Q zips, hoodies, and. New joggers with promo code YAK on Roback.com. R R H O B A C K dot com. 20% off all pulls, Q zips, hoodies, and brand new joggers. They're perfect for football Sunday. I'm going to get myself a lot of joggers. When, when are our joggers getting in? Steven, soon? Roback joggers? He's cutting clips. He's cutting clips. Sorry, He's cutting when are the Roback joggers coming in? Uh, so you're have to get everyone's size. That's okay. I'll get it after the show. All right. Large. Mine's three, large. Three X. XL. I'm a small. I am working out. What? I bought a workout machine at home. What kind of machine? Rowan? Huh? That's that. That's the ultimate. And then if that doesn't work, then you're done forever. Correct. Yeah. yeah. This is my that's last, the last gasp. That's the last step. Yep. I have a workout room at my new house. It's called a gym. I have a workout room. <laughs> Can you take us to your new house? I feel like it's kind of. Uh, yeah, you would. I would love to have you guys at my new house. Sounds like a cocaine room might be in there. I have like a lot of rooms. Cocaine shed. I have some maybe. rooms that are unspoken for. There could be oh. a gap room. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We have many rooms. Really? Maybe that's where we put all the mice. Uh, I don't know that we put mice. Humane way to get rid of them. Yeah. I'll, I'll oh, jeez. Here are the rats. Holy oh, shit. my God. I don't even want to oh, look Oh, no. Oh, wow. my God. That's, that's too big. So that's big. too big. Oh, wow. It's a dog. That's an apex predator. Oh. How is that guy so close? Dude, that is the biggest rat I've ever seen. And it's soaking wet. It's nutria. Look at the trash can. If you presented that tail to a woman, she'd be satisfied. Yeah. Huh. yeah. You oh have to kill that. Oh, my God. Yeah. The tail looks like Dude, I don't think you dick. could kill it. Yeah, I don't think you could kill it. That, that rat's probably... Oh, my God. It's so gross. 10 years old? It would take an industrial vat How of... long do they live? As long as... Are we sure that's a rat? That's... Yeah, I, I think that might be... It might be a possum. Again, I think it's like a nutria. A hybrid. A nutria? Yes, that's a water rat. Ah, or a, uh, what are they called? Um, I bet he came out of the river. Those little dog things they got. Uh, no, in uh, Australia, New Zealand. Prairie dogs? No. Dingo? Dingo. No. Wombat. Capybara? Oh. Capybara. There you go. It's a capybara. No, because they don't have tails like that. The capybara is a dog like. Is that definitely New York? I know it said NYC in the caption. But what if you woke up and that York. thing was sitting on your chest? I would uh, kill myself. On my chest? <laughs> on your chest! Would you? You can't. I don't think you can ever get through that. As a, <laughs> I, don't I would, ta- yeah, I would take it and sick it on my own. Yeah. Back. It was just sitting That'd on your chest yeah. and just like lightly gnawing on your arm. Even if you, even <laughs> if you make it out of that situation, you never sleep again. Yeah, Maybe that's I'm just a capybara. Weird. Rat, rats don't weird me out. Rats or mice don't weird me out. There's. But what if you? What if you wake up and you feel like a little bit of a tickle on your hand, and it's that <laughs> rat I mean, sitting just yeah. slightly gnawing. If I wake up with anything on my through, chest, I'm, I'm, he's gnawed through one of your fingers. That okay, well, then you know, when got- a, you know in holes when kissing Kate Barlow goes into the into oh. the ditch and she wants to get bit by the yellow spotted lizard, she puts it up to her own neck. Yeah, That's I what do. I would go with. I uh, death yeah. by the rat. You gotta let it kill you. You yeah. gotta see it through. My college roommate had like had like mice in his bed. He woke up to like mice <gasps> in his bed, and he said he like he's like a pretty peaceful guy, like a calm like, like, Jerry. like Jerry, like yeah. yeah. And but but he like chased after this mouse, and it started like running up the stairs. It was like jumping upstairs, wow. but he chased it down to like he had to see the death of that yes. mouse at his own hands. Like that's the only way you need to see it die under your thumb. I have a worse hypothetical, and it happened to my best friend, uh, senior year of college. He went back to his room after a day party, and there was a homeless man masturbating in his bed. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> On hot. What's your guys' game plan there? Uh, dude, those are just, you just got to move. You, you got to finish him off. Uh, you got to kill that guy. <clears throat> oh, you got to finish off. You got to let him finish. Especially, you got to kill the homeless guy. Oh, my God. They don't know any better. They don't. I think they probably do. No, that's Dan, no, nice they don't know any better. Like they probably do. <laughs> <laughs> then they're breaking and entering and masturbating. No, no, no. In a college town, though, no, no one ever taught them that that was wrong. Yeah, not a lot of locked doors in college towns. And like, the the population always is like changing. over yeah, yes. like, Oh, you're a new cool homeless guy for four years for somebody, and they don't have to. <laughs> Dude, in Rochester, it's like you, you you forget that the homeless people they change from from city to city. Like here, it's like if a homeless person talks to you, you just keep the head down, keep walking. I tried to pull that in Rochester, and they got, like, pissed. He was like, what's up? You don't talk to people like me? I was like, no. 
<laughs> no, no, never, to be honest. How was Rochester? It's Where like, is it? It's upstate. Where? Pretty close to Toronto. Oh. Canada? It's close to Toronto. I mean, it's close to Buffalo. Okay. Which is close. It's like, dude, it's really close to Canada, mm-hmm. but you can only get there by going like to Buffalo, I think. Huh. Unless you take like a boat. Huh. huh. It's nice. I mean, it, huh. it's it's nice. I've lost for the bills. I know. Real tough. Did you get any uh, Buffalo pizza while you were up there? No, I wasn't in Buffalo. Oh, fuck. But Rochester has wings. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't get really anything. You didn't eat? I didn't get anything adventurous. You didn't eat? No, I ate. What'd you eat? Um, grilled Rock. chicken sandwiches, probably. Yeah, I, I had a chicken diet sandwich Cokes, once. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of Diet Cokes. Uh, yeah, pretty much just like that. I had a pizza one night. Sounds pretty sweet. Ooh, yeah. Was do, it Buffalo style? Hang, no. Do you hang out with the other comedians when you go on the road? Uh, well, I bring uh my buddy Connor Mook. Mm-hmm. So he comes. Your opener. He's my host. And do you share a room with him? No. Huh. You get two rooms. Really? Oh, yeah. You pay for his room? No. The club pays for it. Ooh. But it comes out of your... Yes. So you do pay for it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just host yourself? <laughs> uh, Because it's... I don't know. I, I, I've i not brought in a host before and brought in a feature instead, and then I mean, the host was horrible, and it's like, if you need a good host... I think having a good host is more important than having a good feature. Mm, what's a feature? Like the guy that goes up second, and then he goes on for like 20 minutes, and then I go up. So host, feature, you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Who's the feature? Uh, Club books them. Does it go host, feature, host, you? The uh, feature this week was very good. Uh, yes, Brandon. Did you hang out with him? Okay. So the host? Host is coming up in between all of them. Okay, all right. Yeah, he brings on the next person. So he's carrying the whole night. Yeah, pretty Did much. hang so. out with the feature? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. He wasn't really Sass's kind of guy. No, he like he like it was like he like worked at the club. How are the groupies doing? The groupies? Yeah. No, the we don't have groupies? any of those. No? A lot of fellows. There was a guy at the uh show with the corners. Oh. And he said, I don't want to kiss you, but I want to show you I do have a coin. And then nice. he let me hold it. Wow. I'd never seen one in person before. You didn't kiss him? No. You should have kissed him. He said, I want to make it clear I don't want to kiss. Quarantine hmm. said you were gonna get a lot of pussy as a stand up comic. There's a lot of comics who like strictly do comedy for pussy. Yeah, and there's Why a lot you? of them, and they're like, they all they talk about is pussy, mm-hmm. and it's like, yeah, dude, I don't, not my thing. Well, we know we saw you yeah. with Majestic. You guys saw me with Majestic. <laughs> not really my pussy, cup of tea. <laughs> not really your speed. No. You're more of a hard dick guy. Yeah, more of a gay dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think that the people would go crazy for you, like if you came out as asexual, like they would if you came out as gay. If you Ooh, came out as gay, question. it would shut the fucking world down. It'd be like, oh, Sass is gay? Like, that's so sick. But if you came out as A, I don't think anyone <laughs> would care. I don't think people... No, I don't think people would give a fuck. I think, yeah, people wouldn't be, like, impressed. They'd be like, oh, that's kind of whack. Yeah, probably. That's crazy. When are you going to come out? <laughs> I think there's a lot of people... Uh, a lot of that, like, Mr. Beast crew is, is asexual, or so they say. Really? Yeah. They got their they got neutered by the internet. Yeah. Oh, is he asexual or just? I don't know. Oh, you're gonna tell me no more. No, I'm just (laughs) things I need to know. I I was letting my kid watch this guy. He's grooming freak. (laughs) He's grooming people into being (laughs) asexual. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) No, which which era of the direction's pointing? You're gonna start planting some playboys in Tommy's room. Uh, (laughs) Ah. Want me to read this ad? I was reading. Yeah, do it. Omaha sticks. Yeah, go for it. Uh, he apparently put the wrong ad on the uh, sheet and then sent it to me and said, uh, Shady Ray's sunglasses offer an industry best combination of fit, style, and performance without the big brand price tag. Shady Ray's. Get 50% off two pairs of adult non-prescription sunglasses at ShadyRays.com with the code YAK. If you don't love them, exchange them for a new pair. Return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop with Shady Ray's. Their team always has your back. Shady Ray's. Code YAK. Sass, hit it. Oh, it's Shady Rays, baby. Oh. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. look at this. Scorpion. Scorpion. World headquarters. Oh, Shouldn't shit. have said those stories. What's, what's, uh, is that? Uh, what? <laughs> Jerry, don't. Are those fires Why? outside? Yeah, it does kind of look like a <laughs> plane is, with two. Who made that? With Jerry, two booms Jerry of fire. Dahmer, mind of a monster. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you guys see that the... Uh, oh, Jerry, you said you had remorse. Scorpion Pond looks sick. Have you guys watched that new show at all, the Dahmer one? No, I, I just finished last night. Oh, really? Incredible. Oh, it's good. interesting. It's oh, really, it's wow. really dark. You loved it, huh? It's really dark. You look up to him? Really dark. It's one of the more dark ones out of those jokes. I don't think I can watch it. It's really dark. I don't... Yeah, why not? There it is. That. Jerry Dahmer. That's, that's something I don't want out there. Well, well, it's out. It's pretty much done now. <laughs> I don't want that. Out. No, that was. Oh no, TJ, no. A lot of the victims. Oh no, 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 no! Don't, don't, no, 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 no! no, no, no. Don't. Stop, stop, stop! Oh no! Seriously, seriously! Oh stop. no! Stop, stop! Seriously, uh, stop! That's all right. He ain't just gonna not do it. it. No, he's not gonna do it. Oh, he'll do it. Not to Jerry. If Jerry's asking him not to. Are you asking him not to, or are you just saying he's not gonna do it? Because there's two different. Uh, I would don't do it. I, I Jerry, think, you. I, think I would say I would ask TJ politely. Oh, so that's well, not. Jerry, you know that you have all the power here. You can just be like, TJ, what do you In like? this book. Yeah, do you like, yeah, yeah, TJ, do you like the smell of Lysol? <laughs> Sash, you should really hit that retweet. It, oh, I am. I'm on episode five. Okay, I just finished last night. It's <laughs> fucked, right? Like, I don't it's think It's really, watch it. really dark. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it goes back to victims' being... families have mainly came out and said it's been re traumatizing. And oh, 100%. Uh, so not surprising at all. At all. Yeah. But it's like it, it's dark, like beyond even like it's like the family situation is yep. dark as fuck. His mom was like a crazy schizophrenic. Yeah. The dad was just like absent. Never Any funny that. moments? Mm, no, no, not one. There's a lot of very weird, like, couple too many Evan Peters workout scenes. Yeah, I'd the fuck say is up so. with that? I'd say so. With him like glistening and sweat Peters. and like close ups yeah. of his abs. Dahmer. Where's that? Uh. He's playing Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, oh, it's an acted out? It's like the hottest yeah. dude ever. Oh, I don't, listen, I don't like stuff like that, but this was great. Really? Yes. Uh, it's like it's like interesting, but it's it really great? dark. It's crazy how we is this something off that killers. Be made to yeah, be it's really dark. Wait till he gets to episode seven. Oh, wow. the, 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 what, is, what is he? You find out that he's a bad guy? <laughs> no, he, they actually, I like how they started. They started with him getting caught, like in the first episode, which is like... Oh, spoiler, dude. I thought he was still out there. Yeah, yeah. No, he actually, he passed. He actually... He got killed. Yeah, he got killed in prison. Good. Another person. I I felt weird watching it just because I've I've done a, I've gone a little too deep into the true crime lately, and I was like picking out like plot holes in the show. I was like, well, that's not how that happened at all. Like the jogger thing. Yeah. Oh, all right. Got it. It's factually incorrect. Yeah. You might actually watch it. You know how it actually went down? Well, I read the dad's book. Oh, you read the book. So you actually are upset. <laughs> You're really into this. Shit. Well, I listened to it. I listened You're to the, the dad's book. <laughs> we should hang out sometimes. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The jogger scene is not how it went down. I didn't know that. Yeah, the, the jogger wasn't there that wow. day. He would have died if he was. Are we saying jo- Dahmer's? A- is that like the opening of the of the? Uh, was that like the one in the first episode? Uh, I don't jogger? remember. They they made it a very slight part of that show, but in gotcha. the true story. Supposedly, according to his dad, it was a way bigger of a deal. Okay. Because that was like the first person he was going to kill. The, the first one he did kill was an accident, though. Yeah. That was the accidental one. Who's making money off of this? The dude. Uh, it's the guy that made American Horror Story, right? And he's just getting rich as about? fuck off all the... American Horror Story is like a... Uh, it's like a it's fantasy. An, yeah. It's like based on true stories sometimes. Yeah, and it's anthology. So, so this guy is a uh, serial killer. Who's that it. show is good as fuck. Have you guys ever just, watched that show? Yeah, it's very good. That show is amazing. What? American Horror Story. I only seen the first one, and then first I season. Didn't watch I like that anything. guy's vibe. Wearing your wearing your team's jersey on Victory Monday. Yeah, that's a sweet vibe. Oh, We're shout out Victory it. Monday to all those that are celebrating, Stephen. Me and Ron yep. are celebrating. Yeah, shout out to all those teams. Mm-hmm. We all are. We really, actually, all are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 500,000 views on wrestling in the last seven days. Oh, Damn, we didn't ask. Really? <laughs> yep. That's great, Brandon. Thank you. Thank That's you, Jerry. I appreciate that. Let's put it on podcast. Just with two videos on YouTube. MJF, you, you should just have him co-host. Okay. What? No, that would, is? That would be a great like idea. That idea? That's what you're doing? I would, no, I, didn't say, I did not say that. Whoa. That would be a great idea. But I believed him when he said he was like a big deal, but like. He's a big deal. He's a big deal. He, and he's going to be a gigantic deal. So those are going to keep growing, too. Yeah, yeah he's going to be huge. bigger he gets. People love going back to the OG interviews. He's going to be like Austin or Rock, one of those guys. Whoa. Austin Safarian Jenkins? <laughs> <laughs> and and Rock Cartwright. Do you text with him? I do. Wow. Text him now. What do you want me to text him? A picture of all of our dicks and have him guess which is which. Okay. Yes. Let's, let's, let's start. Owen? I'll see yeah. you on. <laughs> Wait, Jerry, are those the, the shorts? No, no. Well, they were gray, right? Yeah, gray, no. Or, or Still has them, though. Those were uh, essentials. 
Oh, word. But those look expensive, too. Is no, no, expensive? these are from uh, eBay. I buy a lot of used clothes on eBay. Yeah? Vintage? Or just uh, designer stuff? That you yes. Do? You know, vintage stealer stuff and stuff like mm. that, yeah. Hey, that video has, like, destroyed my mind because I used to be, like... Like, I was when I was driving this week, I had to stop at a rest stop and take a shit. And, like, usually I'm like, this sucks, it's uncomfortable, but I'll make it to the bathroom. And now, in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm not going to make it to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to shit my pants. Yeah. yeah. But I have Catastrophe. It. Yeah. <laughs> Happens, you know? But you know what I realized, though? I've got so many messages of, of people be like, hey, like, you're not the only one, man. Yeah, no. You know? I've long, st I've, I've long, long stood on the uh, soapbox of, like... Adults should be allowed to have one accident a year. Mm -hmm. Would you say you have one accident a year? Yes. You would just never put it out there. No, I've just never had. I've I've put it out there. I've oh, put you mine out there. Yeah. I've, I've never shit. I've never put out the actual shit, but I've shit my pants multiple times in the last like decade, and I've talked about it on air. Gotcha. Well, That's why it? when you told me this, when you're like, should I put this out? I was like, yeah. I never shit my pants. I've only shit my pants once, and it was when I had food poisoning. Mm. Mm. You're not living on the you're edge. You're too young. Your body is still. Yeah. You know what I mean? I came a couple seconds away from shitting my pants in this office yesterday yeah. on my way to the office. When you were about to lose it on me? Before that. Yeah, a couple tweeted, hours. Before. That's why I was in a bad mood. Yeah. I went into that bathroom and I didn't even put the seat down at. Oh. <laughs> Shut off the fucking bear. <laughs> oh my God, Steven. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Yeah, what? I've never heard of or seen that move did, before. Did not have the time to you spare. You just raw dogged it? Did not have the time to spare. So you did you almost fall in? You had to hover. Yeah, you use your leg muscles. Oh, I did that actually. I did that when we were. Uh, remember when we were at Fiddlesticks outside? Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna shit my pants. Fiddlesticks is that name of a club? It's a bar. Oh, it was like midday. It was like in the afternoon. We were like getting food there, and I had to. I went upstairs, and none of the stalls had locks on them because it's like a shitty bar. Yeah. And the only one that had a lock on it didn't have a toilet seat, so I hovered and shit. Dude, I did that. I was at Forest Hills at a concert recently. Didn't close, so I had to do like a three point stance. Yeah, I also <laughs> didn't want to touch it, so I was doing a three point stance shitting. But then Athletic. it was a it was a pull door, so the dude pulled it open. And I just it fell. Oh <laughs> no! And then I shut it, closed it, and uh, he listens to the yak. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's worst case. So you're Owen? Dick. Yeah, is that Owen? He saw my dick balls. That's paint. awesome. That Everything. sucks. But uh, Did you go down? Like, were you like rolling around on the floor? <laughs> Close it. Falling down. Hey. So bad. Yeah. That's you give the dad, hey. Yeah. I'm yeah. about to lose it on you. Then I just came out really sweaty. Oh. Your food, Brandon? Yeah, I don't know. No, it ain't. It's mine, brother. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't even fucking think about it, bro. Well, there's two foods there, Ron. It could be both of our foods. It's probably yours. You got Chick-fil-A? No, I'm eating healthy. I've been working out. I have a workout room in my house. Mm. <laughs> That's sick. Like a gym? A workout room. Nice. I have a boxing bag. What's the workout machine you bought? Uh, I have a... It's not a machine. I have a bench now. <laughs> I have a bench. You have weights? I have a bench and weights, yes. You just lay on the bench? I have a bench, weights. I have a light boxer. I have a boxing bag. How much are you benching? I'm, I haven't... I haven't... I haven't uh, and a rowing machine? Steven, did you ever get the rowing machine? Because I'm actually going to go get it if you're not going to get it. I inquired about it. Is Steven, wait, what do you think? Month at your house, month at mine. We're both in Jersey. How are you guys going to move it back and forth? I'm, I'm not going to give it. it to you, Steven, until you lose it on me. <laughs> can I, be, do, can I just come really get it and get it to Jersey it. and me and him will work it out? That's fine, but I want to see. I'll actually use it. I will, too. I have a workout room in my house. Maybe but Brandon that mean, gets you it a, since you got the $12,000 cash we raised. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I actually have not received that yet. Okay. All right. Wait, but didn't Kate say that she's going to put the money in the Yak Slush Fund when she wins her shit? And half the money to Majestic. Oh, that's whack. Yeah. Half the money Majestic's to Majestic. Majestic's a sexual predator. Yeah, she's a predator. <laughs> I'm a victim. You honestly, imagine was, if it was the other way around. I was straight up harassed. Badly. She was grabbing, <laughs> when she was grabbing my leg, because my legs were crossed like this, and she's grabbing my leg to like undo well, she me. She had to create a lap undo so she could have a lap. Was like, whoa. She was trying to milk you. No more she of that. She had to get access to the lap. That was when I scurried away. And I went and cried, and I got Dave. And I said, Dave, none of that. And he sent out an email. <laughs> then he sent out an email. Everyone was like, Sass is going straight to HR. 
It's like, dude, where, we don't have, like, where is HR? It's just Hank. If I wanted HR, I wouldn't know where to find them. Yeah. But Let me just go him? upstairs to where all those new people and just, just yeah. somebody random and tell them Sash what happened. just goes up there and just starts screaming, I was raped. <laughs> 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 no, I was, like, pissed, though. I was fired up for a good, like, hour. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> and then I was like, you should have fucked her. Fuck it. How'd you get rid of all that stress? <laughs> have his headphones in. I can hear him. So I get oh. rid of all that stress. Oh, how did you get rid of all that stress? Uh, uh-huh. I don't remember. Yeah, stand- a stand-up set. Uh, I went home and I watched the Dahmer show. You don't seem like somebody that holds anger for a while. It's like I'm gonna dissect someone. <laughs> no, uh, I don't hold anger visibly, mm-hmm. but inside. So it rages full of rage. I am I am more up more of a positive person now than I used to be though. Really? Yes. After tr- going to church and finding God. After finding God. Mm-hmm. I try not God to be too. a hater anymore. Dahmer found God. The tenth episode, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're just right before that. You were wondering if you wanted to watch. His what? grandma wanted him to find God. Yeah. Do you have to give money to, when you make a story like that? Do you have to give any money to anybody? If you should. Make, like you have to give money to the victims or do oh, you pay Dahmer? It's, it's, it's in the show. I'm not going to say anything though. You said everything else. No, don't say it. Don't say it. I, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> you just give. Hey, it. you should watch uh, Blackbird on Apple TV. What is it? The show is fucking amazing. It's only six episodes. Kill birds. No, it's a. <laughs> it's about like a drug dealer who was like in prison and like he has to go. Uh, it came out this year. It's brand new, and he has to go and. They're transferring him to like this like super fucked up like maximum security prison in like Mississippi or something, and he has to uh, try and get a confession out of a serial killer. And if he gets the confession, they'll release him. Wow! At for his ten year sentence, yeah, it's really good. Blackbird. Blackbird. I remember right down with Ray Liotta. Oh, nice to like him. Yeah, it was his last thing that he was ever in. Fuck. He retired. He really was a funny guy. (laughs) Kind of. (laughs) From this earthly realm. Lost Ray Liotta. It's actually kind of depressing because he's like dying in it as well. All right, don't give it away. I won't. It's that show is really, really good. I've been doing Barry. It's very good. Oh it's yeah. Great. Mm-hmm. What else? I've been watching football. Really? Two birds. Uh, Big Cat, I appreciated you admitting that it wasn't a good week of football. People get really offended. It was crazy. It was it was a bad week. I do think the witching hour was better than you gave it credit for. It was okay, yeah, but, but it wasn't like there you weren't can't enjoy good weeks if you say every week. Is right, the that was my whole point. I don't like when people are like, ah, oh, this football, like every football game's the best game. It's like, no, dude, sometimes games suck. Mm-hmm. And when they're good, I tell you they're good. The, I mean, I, the last witching fi- hour wasn't it wasn't great, but the the Raiders Titans had an interesting ending. The last five minutes of the Bills Dolphins was about that was, as good. That as, was very good. It's about as good a game. Like the get. Chiefs Colts was like kind of a boring. And the Lions Vikings was weird too. It was kind of a boring, interesting. It was like it felt like a lot of games that it was very like predetermined. Like when the Lions missed that field goal, it was like, yeah. well, the Vikings are going to score. Yeah. So yeah. Who, who, I mean, it's crazy that people like were getting upset that I said that. It doesn't. It shouldn't change. If you enjoyed it, yeah. me saying I didn't think it was great should not affect that. No. That's just dude. Per- that's the difference between you and dude. Perfect. They probably think every week of football is it's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I mean, we have awesome days, and also I, I am a big believer. Like the uh, the prime time games, the big mark, the big matchups being bad brings the whole week down. Mm-hmm. The Bucks. Packers game and then the Sunday Night Football game sucking, kind of it it definitely like puts a damper on it because you get excited for those games. You just have to recalibrate which teams you're going to get excited about. Right, you like that look too. at the Rams being like, oh, the Rams game is going to be sick. Rams Cardinals going to be sucked. sick, yeah. But then Jags are good. The Jags Jags Eagles next week that could be an awesome. game. Every Lions game is kind of interesting. Yeah, interesting little back and forth. The Dolphins maybe have a little bit of it too. Yeah, dude, like you got to just realize the Bucks the Giants suck. maybe. The Bucks suck. The Bucks are just not them. good. Well, they're just injury plagued. They lost all their good players. Quarterbacks old. And they're kind of over the hill, yeah. and uh, they had an awesome. They had an awesome run. Yeah. Quarterbacks old as fuck. Old as fuck. Older than me. He's not looking good. Oh uh, yeah. His Steven? I mean, they lost, but. Why is it, why gonna is lose the Chiefs? Like too? It looks like Christian Bale. I mean, he looks like the court sketch of him tw- ten years ago. Yeah, we made fun of. Him, but he now looks like that. Yeah, it's true. It looks like when Christian Bale loses a lot of weight for a movie. Yeah, 
Also, you were wrong about Devontae Smith. So wrong. Could not have been more wrong. Picked him over two of the best players That's in the league. Not, Micah Parsons no, and uh, Rayshon Slater, who's now out for the year. Okay. But, but you were wrong. But he had an incredible game yesterday. That's nice. So I th- so why are you giving them credit and not him credit? He had a great game yesterday. I said in my tweet that so originally, sto- originally got a lot of uh, I got a lot of flack for. I think he's going to be an awesome pro. You just can't spend a top ten pick on a guy like that. Well, they well, did. The yeah, but they did, and you and you can because it worked. Did it, it worked yes. uh, so far. Yeah. You don't think they would have been better off with Micah Parsons? They got How? a pretty good defense. Uh, what do you mean better off? They're undefeated. How could you be you better off than undefeated? Positionally, okay. they let's needed the receiver. A couple weeks. All right, let's revisit it. They had nine sacks yesterday. That's good. I guess that's the best you can ever do. Oh, that's pretty oh good. you're pretty good. You're such a dick. <laughs> Look how down in the dumps he is because he he's, he's lashing out. out. Yeah. Just because Tom Brady's old anorexic ass is fucking going through troubles. I think Steven's also realizing like this is his first football season of content, and he's down in the dumps because his his picks suck. They do. And, I'm actually. And that that does it does hurt the psyche. It does. Yeah. I'm got a zig. I'm gonna release a video soon. I'm suspending myself for the rest of the month. No, pi- no picks. No, you can't do that. Rest Dude, of the month. Yeah. Wait, the, oh, That's... I see. Never mind. Tonight, Thursday. Why? I'll be back out next Sunday. But... No, I mean, we have a Thursday night boost. I'm going to let Mincy do it by himself. I'm not going to play tonight. I've been bad. Really bad. I'm great. Yeah, Sass is a You had a three-teamer, dude. Oh, yeah. You're going to lose. The week. Winning every single bet. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you do it. You just see the ball right now. I do. You I know just, ball. I like $2 on a game. game. Yeah. And then I bet every single thing. The parlay, and then it wins. What did, what, what what was your parlay yesterday? I lost my parlay. Yesterday. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but still though, but it's Saturday. You still no ball. <sighs> Saturday was just parlay city, two parlays, both of That's them a won. Solid top five, top ten. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You came up with that yourself. No, I don't know who's doing those. <laughs> 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 I have nothing to do with that. Uh. Solid, solid top. Ten. And state being number one, though that's that's accurate. That's accurate. That's mm-hmm. my number one. But who would you really have as your like of that list? Who would be two and three? I'd only see first place. So, X. I did like I don't obviously I don't watch football a lot, but it was. Is that obvious? I, I was having the realization when I was while we were watching one of the games in Rochester, and I was like, this must suck for the kids who are like on Penn State knowing that there's actually like like because it's like Georgia or Alabama win every year like doesn't that doesn't well, that no suck? not really I mean they they are kind of but not really but doesn't that suck being on a team being like even no matter how good we are we're still probably going to lose well, you, I mean you, you're getting a lot of players are getting paid now and you're getting free scholarship like you yeah, I'd yeah. say it doesn't suck to be a college no, football it's player probably pretty awesome major uh, but like so do you go in if you're not on one of those teams being like I'm probably never going to win a championship yeah yeah, but I, you, uh, you're okay with that. I mean, like the, the 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 championship is not the main draw of playing college football. I guess, yeah. I think the adults convince themselves they're pragmatic and know they're not going to win. But the kids, like when they're being yeah. recruited, they're like 17 years old. They're like, we have this fucking awesome recruiting class. Like it's not always Alabama and Georgia that have the best recruiting class. Mm-hmm. So it has to those teams probably convince themselves that they're going to be awesome. Like Texas right now, they probably think that they're they have a chance to win a national championship within the next five years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A&M does but do they? Oh, speaking yes. of which, we got to play the the uh, Caleb video, which is crazy. Yeah, that it's was actually insane. Uh, what, what? What? When did that idea hit there? I don't know. They didn't. They didn't even have. I don't think they had field passes. I think they snuck down. So wait, they? Oh, I didn't. I didn't watch this, dude. Caleb and Theo Vaughn, after the biggest win Tennessee's had in probably a decade. This is the head coach. He douse the head coach. They timed him <laughs> in stride. And right it's before amazing. he met the other head coach. How pissed do you think Heupel was? He seemed to take it <laughs> like no problem. It's insane. This video is not like being talked enough about of how insane it is. That guy got lucky. I like the how the turn is so react. great too. He doesn't react at all. Doesn't react at all. He's also like one second away from being too late. Yeah. Because he's shaking the other coach's hand there. He has a little smile on his face. That's Billy Napier right there. A little butt pat. The turn is so great. Yeah, this. 
Where did they think they were going? They were like, oh, it's, it's like they like overshot it. it by yeah, it's like a, it's going to be in midfield no matter what. Like that's where they shake hands. That was like a Looney Tunes turn where they had to like build back yeah, up yeah, the yeah, speed. They revved up. Uh, yeah, 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 like yeah. little dust coming up from their feet as they like screech to a halt. What crazy shit! Good for them. What a great video. Just living life. I wonder if anyone got mad at them. I think people did. I would assume Our so. Commenters yeah. did. I th- or I just think uh, people in the comments of the video. What did they say? That they didn't go there. Oh. You want me to ask my Tennessee guy? Yeah. He's yeah. the he's the guy in the background walking the coach. weren't you weren't you guys all there? Yeah, ask. We were, yeah. How come you guys weren't on the field? Uh, we're not important enough. How come Big T wasn't on the field? Uh, restraining order. He's a Tennessee guy. It's in his name. Adrian Foster was there. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody was in that bitch. Can we spin the wheel? Yes, yeah. spin the wheel. Goddamn, goddamn. Dude, I got a poke bowl out there. Also, I had prime rib twice this weekend. Ooh, prime rib is good. It's the season, you know. It's kind of a fall flavor. Mm-hmm. The way it pulls apart like a stew. Golly. I make it New Year's Eve every year. Really? Yeah. What do you make? Prime rib. Oh, that sounds a horseradish sauce, sauce or is it made out of hamster? I love horseradish. You get some horseradish yep. on it. Yeah. Yep. I fucking yes. love horseradish, and I'm tired of ham. Because there's nothing for me, you, anybody. Ham. Ham sucks. Cutting it like a fucking Ham's fine. Present? My mom makes a very good ham. But with what else? Ham's just ham. How do you make oh, it? No, she ham? makes a great ham. It's just ham. I want you to taste plate? it this year, and you tell me. Ham's ham. When you no, just no, cut no, a little no, triangle no. of ham, I hate oh, that feeling. Oh. It's so unsa- It's the most it's very unsatisfying. Meat. I like. Yeah, I, it's, it's so it's, unsatisfying. It's a flat fine, little it's a fucking fine fish, filling it's meat. It's a sheet cake. Yeah. Of yellow. Yeah. It's sweet potatoes. You can get a lot of ham and still be like that. Ham cracker. That sounds nice. Spin that fucking wheel. That's what I mean. That kind of shit sounds nice. A crumble on top. Ham. No. Starting tomorrow, everyone will have acrylic nails. Getting them this afternoon. Yes. That sucks. And you get a so videotape. It's so so shitty. Oh, that's gonna be so great. You should just get some fake ones. You're gonna look awesome. I'm off. Because I'm not you, bro. I'm back on. That is true. Round is him. I didn't see what happened till I saw it on social. Hypo wasn't upset to my knowledge. Ooh. And this is someone inside the good. Tennessee, uh and he's still texting. That's good. I'm happy that because like I would have been bummed out if they were like, fuck that. Why would they do that? Yeah. And this is the guy that got us on the field last year, so he all right, he's in that video. I'm happy. Which one was he? The bald guy. I want to go. I might go to the Egg Bowl this year and uh, no, no. carry Lane Kiffin off the field. The cat, oh, yeah. Don't fucking, okay. <laughs> That'd be incredible. Where is the Egg Bowl this year? What is that? It's at the SIP. The SIP. It's in the SIP? It's an, Well, it's always in the SIP. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's in Oxford. It's at the Grove. It's at the SIP. It's, oh, it's, it's in Oxford. The SIP? It's in Oxford. It's It's there. Where is it? Overrated town. And they're going to kill you again. They are not. You have not won an Egg Bowl. Uh, we won one in 2019. We've lost the last oh, two. Oh, at That's Barstool, you've not won an Egg Bowl. I was at Barstool in 2019. It was the... Yeah. When, when, yeah, I, I disagree. Had this, it was the video of Tommy and when... Yeah. Not since Mincy's Oh, not since here. Mincy's been here. And that's when you really started. Mincy here now? I, I, <laughs> you can, you can. He's Mincy here now. King of the South. He's, he's, uh, he's no Nick longer and, King of the South. I'm the King of the South. He's with Nick and KB. It was his birthday yesterday. They sung him Happy Birthday. Wait, was it? Yeah, you didn't see the video of them singing it to him at some uh, nice ass restaurant. Love it. He's got four a year though. Who picks up the bill at those dinners with, the, with the cloth tablecloth? Mincy. Yeah. Yeah. They sing to him. He picks it up on his birthday. Do you think That's you'll fun. ever beat Mincy in the Egg Bowl? I'll beat him this year. You beat him this year. They're you said that last good. year. They're not very. Good. And I'll say it again next year. I'm just saying we're gonna beat him this year. Are you actually? We're gonna beat A and M this weekend. And we're going to get right back on the horse. We're going to beat Arkansas next week. And okay. shit's going to go crazy. Okay. <laughs> one day, I'm in. proud of you, man. Three, two, one. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, God. Happy birthday to you. I love his laugh. Happy my boy bouncing. He's a vibrating bing bang. Mincy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> gotta be the most innocent man in America. Yeah. He really is the best. 21 years old, everybody. He's a beautiful, beautiful man. 
I wish you had that type of enthusiasm for life. I know. You guys beat it out of me. Do we want to make a pro Beyonce statement so we don't get ratio to the moon like Chicken Fry did? What happened? You didn't see that? She oh. said she said okay, Beyonce is overrated and the, and they came after her ass. Ready for the ratio? Oh boy. Oh boy! Holy shit! I think it was Jamel Hill. Somebody called them the unseasons. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Why? Uh, oh, take if a that bath. was happening to me, I would have had that deleted so fast. Let white people talk music white. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. That's just straight white, to the white. point. White. <laughs> I think the crazier clip was Joey Camasta doesn't shower. Yeah, 20 times a year, he said. That was wild. What? That's what? that's white, too. That was insane. What do you mean he doesn't shower? He said he showers 20 times a year. Yeah. Didn't he change? Yeah, he I was on the sweat, show with him when he did that. Yeah, he said, Pat said that he doesn't shower, and then uh, I was like, what do you mean by that? Like, People do you need baths? to stop saying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's gross, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Not cute. Uh, and I was like, do you take baths? And he said, no. He just like uses... Wet wipes. Dude wipes is a, which is a great product, but he only showers like if there's a guy coming over, if there's something big going on. And I was like, all right, like quantify that. Like how many times are you showering a year? He said, probably about 20. Ew. Which is less than every two weeks. Dude, a shower at this point too is like, it's even less about being clean. It's more about just feeling good. It's an yeah. escape. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, I feel good. Like... Dude, starting it's set back to like I, I, my day starts and I'm like, oh, now I feel ready to attack the day. He said he Did doesn't he, like to get wet. Even like even if I shower the night before, I'll have times I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't need I don't need to shower again. But then you feel like shit the entire yeah. day. Oh yeah, you feel like stale, gross. Not a shower. This shit is gross. And did did you see how many video or views Caleb's video had? Like a fun, joyous video, like two point one million views, and then their video has like five million views of them talking shit on Beyonce. Oh, they weren't even talking that bad of shit. They called her overrated. Right. You can't do that. I don't want to get in the mix. I mean, that's an insane. Why, well, Sass? You, you you do think she's overrated? No, I think she's underrated. Scroll some of these comments real quick. Baby, you're obsessed with the white comment. <laughs> I mean, that was very funny. Just saying, white, just white, nothing else. Even Gaga would disagree. Damn. Oh man. They said Gaga was. Bad. Yeah, I mean, Beyonce's like got uh, like a a laundry list of like certified bangers. You can not like her. You can't be like she's overrated. No. I mean, rating is just such a personal thing that it's like if yeah. we like held everyone to their music opinions and like put them up to their oh, wow. most. What, what does it say? There's more overrated Beyonce or chicks in this video. Did did they have any response to that? Did they follow it up? Did they double down? Not that I know of. I'll check. Huh. Sometimes you know that's just what you want out of a clip too. You just want the publicity of it. You just wanted to make not waves. <laughs> no, that's a, not at all what I would want. Sash wants to be known for his. Oh, that was so close. I would uh, have that removed from the internet. If there was a, I mean, wouldn't you just delete it? No. You delete videos when they have too many good yeah, comments. Too many <laughs> Let your your takes fly. Yeah. Stand by them. Kobe. I stand by a few uh, things that I say moments after they passed. I just say things. I gotta go get my hair cut. Oh God, it's. But you just said you days. you had to get lunch. I have to eat lunch and then go get my hair cut. That was much worse. Why do you gotta get your hair cut? Your hair looks fine. My hair you can't leave until we make a shot. Doesn't feel fine. Jerry, Wet. I need to make a shot. You pass me back those. Wet. Whoa. Jay just got pranked by an edit on our on our Twitter. By a who? Wow. Ooh. He thought this was real. Oh, my God, Jay. It's her, it's her Instagram. No, no, no. no, no. Big cat, no. Uh. Big cat, no. Big cat, no. Big cat. <laughs> ah. Imagine being in shoegasm right now. How loud that was. I need to make one shot. All right, I'll get you some more paper. Fix the box, big strong man, with your workout room. With your workout room. You would look good with a BBL. Oh. 
I gotta end on the make. I gotta end on the make. I gotta end on the make. No, bro. Oh, good catch. No, no, no. No, bro. No, no. Compton. Oh, no. Damn. Oh. I need to end on the make. Just go get a haircut. They'll stop right when you leave. That's my leash. <laughs> That's my leash. That's my leash. Ah, oh. shit. Yay! Shot glass. See ya. See you tomorrow. <laughs>